Hey guys, this is Morborg here, and this is how you remove any carrier branding from your Samsung phone from older than the S6. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the boot animation to match the original Samsung boot for your device as well as removing any carrier bloatware and more so let's get started first by changing the boot animation when setting a boot animation on your device you need to make sure you have your files set to your device or on an external SD card if the device supports it so by the way your device has to be rooted first if you didn't know as you can see I have super user installed because this ROM I put the this is a, a special ROM that is basically stock except it it was modified with root access and if you find your device is not rooted you'll need to go do that and then come back to this video so you're going to need an app called root browser that's how you're going to access the system files and so I'm going to take you to the system directory and where all your files will be. So I opened up system and then I'm going to media. And then if you scroll down a bit, you will see bootsamsung.qmg and bootsamsungloop.qmg. I scroll down. I did not find it though. Yeah, this is Android Ice Cream Sandwich. So the files might be in a different spot. Oh, shut down. Yeah, it was in System Media Video Shutdown. That's where the shutdown was. and then you'll find your power on and off sounds by going to audio and then UI and then just scroll down and then you'll see power on dot OGG and power off dot OGG so with that out let's change the boot animation so you need to locate where your downloaded files are first which mine are on the external SD card so I'll I'll go over to that so I found where the external SD card was located and it was located in the MNT folder which I'm assuming stands for mount so anyways, I'm going to go to the folder where the boot animations are. And, uh, yeah, that's right. I moved them, so I'm going to have to extract them. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to take one of the files, hit copy, and then go back to where the boot animation is. And then just, I'm going to rename this file here, bootsamsung.qmg. Just rename it to whatever you want. I'm just going to put an X before it so it doesn't get recognized. And then I'm going to click paste. So there we go. The new bootsamsung.qmg. And now one last thing I'll need to do is change the permissions for it and set it to 
RW dash R dash R, which is the same as these check marks, and then just hit OK, and then repeat this process for each necessary file. Alright, so I pasted the three files and now I'm going to make sure I set the permissions correctly. And yes, I did do that. So now I'm going to go back to the boot animation file. And then there's, I'm going to select the power on file, hit copy, go to the audio directory, then UI, and then take power on, rename it. paste this file, change its permissions, okay so I did that and then since the stock boot animation for any Samsung device does not have a power off noise I'm just going to rename this power off dot OGG to xpoweroff.ogg and then as a, a safe measure I'm going to do the same with this dot .waav file okay so took care of that and now I'll show you the startup and shutdown of this phone before and after Here's before. And here's after. Alright, so I just decided I'm going to worry about that issue later down the line, and so that means we are going to move on now, which is to remove the any carrier bloatware from your device. So you need to have an app on your phone called Root App Deleter, and once again, make sure you have root access, and then just go to system apps and then depending on what if you have pro or junior most people should have junior so click on that and then here just scroll through it and see anything that stands out as possible carrier bloatware yeah like this Polaris I'm going and then click disable
and just go through here and do that. So I, I got all of them. There is more, but I actually deleted them already. So those are gone. And there's that. And now they're not here. So I just removed the carrier bloatware from the device. Now if you're willing to spend some money, you can do an optional step, which is to swap out your back cover for one that does not have carrier branding. So I'll actually take this one off and show you. It says T-Mobile. Yeah, but I'm not going to get rid of that. So yeah, that was how you change the boot animation and basically remove any sort of carrier branding from your Samsung phone. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And yeah, peace.